hey guys sun's out a little bit we'll take it for what it is uh, front ends being silly on the vehicle so I think we're uh, gonna look under there and swap some parts out here's where we're at right now looking at these shocks it's probably the original junk that's in there pretty nasty looking I got these new what is it whatever they are I forget what kind they are but uh, magnum yeah blah 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 anyways it's just uh, one bolt and washers at the top and or nut nut washers and spacers at the top and two bolts at the bottom and we've got the wheel jacked up a little bit pretty easy job uh, once you get all the rust and everything free because these look like they may be original to the vehicle some deferred maintenance seems like a lot of what I'm doing here is deferred maintenance but it's what you get when you buy a used vehicle you have to expect to do some things with it so that's what we're doing today so the bottom those two bolts go right through those holes at the bottom and up here you can see that new piece and that is like washers rubbers and then the top goes on and that'll get bolted down it actually comes with a second second rubber gasket I'm not sure if that's for different applications but we could squeeze a second one in there I don't know if we'll do that maybe we will tighten her up see what she looks like these Monroe shocks if you look this actually is a rear assembly not a front so they've got the wrong picture on the box no instructions to go with it good one Monroe and it's been so long since I've done some of these I don't remember the exact placement on those rubber um, rubber thingies so I'm gonna have to look that up online and double check myself looks like we're going with one here and then your rubber bushing and then we will insert this up into the vehicle and the metal housing for that will be here and then we'll put the second one and a second washer and the nut will be on the top so just this on the top this gets installed before putting it in and it's worth noting that none of this bottom stuff was on the uh, the ones I took out didn't have any of this below. Good times. From the belly of the beast, there's your coil we're going to go up into. We can get this guy to go in. And this slides up into there, and we got to get it into the hole on top. And then down here, these two holes here, that just gets bolted in once we get the alignment right on it. And then we go back up to the top. Here's both of these. This is from the other side, and you can see this is the one I was talking about that was below, and then another one goes on top. I actually had to cut that because it wouldn't come off. But what I noticed is on this one, which is the first one we were looking at, this little dust cover here is broken. But if you actually look inside there, see if you can see there, there's your rubber bushing, and there's that bottom piece. Just like that, it's just jammed up into this little dust cover thing. But yeah, these these shocks I think I've seen better days. I wonder if they're the same age as the one in the back. <laughs> okay, let's get the uh, other side reassembled and back on the road. I know it's not a whole lot of fun watching me change parts on the van, but no matter where you live, what you do, you're going to have maintenance. Van, house, or whatever it is, you've got to plan for it. If you can't fix things yourself, then you have to budget for it. And, um, yep, keeping it real. Let's see what we have to fix next. Talk to you later.